Hey everybody. So a little over a year ago I did a video demonstrating a Dell Octoplex 390 system running Windows 11. And of course it was a stock 390 minus the RAM configuration. I think this thing had 4 gigs of RAM in it. And of course it had the Core i5 2500 CPU. But it had the stock 250 gigabyte hard drive, which was a huge, huge lagging factor in that test. And because of that, uh, the system ran pretty slow. But now, we have a 390 with a 512 gigabyte SSD and 8 gigabytes of memory. All the other specs are the same. Core i5, 2500 CPU. And I should note, this computer is, of course, from 2012 and of course we know what that means but that didn't stop me from putting Windows 11 on this thing and of course I used the Rufus method to create the USB installer now I would just like to demonstrate just how well a computer like this that's as of this video 11 years old runs Windows 11 that being said let's go ahead and start it up Well, that sure took a long time to get to the desktop. Man, this thing slow as crap. Not really. As you can see, it actually booted up to the desktop. What, that was less than, what, 15 seconds, I'm guessing? So here we have the desktop. Um, and I should note that I have went through and configured several things on here. I've loaded in a few things, so it's not exactly a bone stock installation. I've got a few different browsers on here and some other software. This is kind of like the configuration that I would have if I was selling a computer with Windows 11. And of course we got our taskbar here and you can see our preview for Copilot is here. So this is Windows 11 23H2. And of course we'll go into our settings here and look at our specs. So Windows 11 Pro 23H2. And of course, processor is a Core i5 2400 CPU, 8 gigs of memory, and we have a 512 gigabyte SSD. And of course, this computer does not meet the Microsoft Elite class, minus its requirements from Windows 11. And this computer right here, boys and girls, is a fine example of what I call those requirements, the Elite class system requirements. It's because Windows 11, when it was released, the Elite Class minimum requirements limited you to using a modern Elite system, <laughs> as I would call it, a modern Elite Class system from no more than three years of age, whereas previous versions of Windows would always allow you to install the operating system on much older hardware. I mean, we have computers from, for example, this computer's from 2012. 2012! And with some minor upgrades, I mean, Stuff you can do for dirt cheap now. I mean, a solid state drive, what, 20 or 30 bucks? I mean, a solid state drive and maybe some extra RAM. That's the only things that are uh, not stock on this thing, on this system. And you can see how fast it booted up to the desktop. Now, to be fair, let's go ahead and do a restart, which will force it to do a uh, full shutdown and start up versus the um, fast startup. So you can see it took a little bit longer to start up that time, but still that's a I'd say it's a very respectable startup speed. Um, I mean, again, for a system that does not meet the Microsoft Elite Class requirements, Windows 11. I can't stress it enough. This is why I can't stand the Windows 11 system requirements. 
A system like this Octoplex 390 is more than capable of running Windows 11. Oh, but it doesn't have TPM 2.0. Oh, it doesn't have Secure Boot. But it is a UEFI based system. And, I mean, <laughs> it runs like Windows 11 was made for it. I mean, I can't stress it enough. It's, it's so ridiculous, those system requirements. They limit computers that could easily run Windows 11 very well from running it. Now, of course, I know this wasn't a full-on installation video. But, I mean... What can I say? I mean... <laughs> it runs it quite well. I mean, what can I say? It's another fine example of uh, why Microsoft needs to get a grip on these elite class system requirements for Windows 11. People don't need to throw out a decent computer that, I mean, still runs perfectly fine or could run very well with some cheap upgrades like a solid state drive. They don't need to throw away, they don't need to throw away a good computer just to go out and buy an elite class certified system uh, with Windows 11 pre-installed. I mean, what's like what gives? What gives? I mean, we have perfectly decent machines from the past uh, decade that are still very well usable for basic if not sometimes moderate tasks. I mean web browsing and office productivity and basic stuff like that and maybe some more a little higher up. I mean these things are still perfectly capable machines and it's just so ridiculous that Microsoft is trying their best to uh, encourage users to just um, trash these as e-waste to go buy a new um, shoddy quality computer from Walmart or Best Buy or wherever that meets the elite class requirements for Windows 11. And again, that's why I call those the elite class requirements because they're just ridiculous. They don't... The system requirements for Windows 11 do not accurately um, reflect what you actually need to run the operating system. Yes, I know they want you to have TPM 2.0 and yes, they want you to have Secure Boot and all that good stuff, but um, let's face it, um, common 2026 and 2027 and 2028, um, I think it's going to be more important for computers that are still running Windows to be running a supported version of Windows, a version of Windows that gets security patches and updates and stuff like that, not a version of Windows that's going to be like Windows XP. I mean, Windows XP was a very, very, very popular operating system, and so was Windows 7. Windows 7 is a similar thing. Um, now, of course, people were sticking with Windows 7 for different reasons. It's not like computers running Windows 7 couldn't run Windows 10. Um, almost any computer that came pre-installed Windows 7 could run Windows 10 pretty well. So, I mean, there you have it. So, anyways, wrap up for this video. Again, I did want to do a video um, of the Altiplex 390 running Windows 11, despite not meeting the Elite class requirements. And I felt it was more fair to have an Altiplex 390 that was upgraded with cheap upgrades, a solid state drive, and a RAM upgrade. So, there you have it. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Hey, everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video from Cuckoo Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell so we can notify a new video post. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, and share this video as well as the channel with your friends and get the word out. Also, I have a second channel that's Cubecomp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about thunderstorms and weather, cycling, and videos about me personally. Feel free to subscribe over there as well if you like. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for your support.